Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Joseph Smith translation of Genesis chapter 17, verse 11. And I will establish a covenant of circumcision with thee, and it shall be my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee. In their generations that thou mayest know forever that children are not accountable before me until they are eight years old. Okay, this is God speaking. This is God speaking to Abraham. And it's part of the covenant that God makes after saying, after coming to, unto Abraham, and Abraham means the father of many nations. And along with the covenant of being able to have many posterity, there's a covenant of circumcision. Now, I don't understand a lot about circumcision, but I've heard it is healthier and better for any, chi any male child. But I'm not going to get into that because it's something I don't understand and it's better for me not to get into it because I don't understand it. And, but the point is covenants are sacred. We have opportunities to make covenants with God. Not only for blessings for ourselves but also blessings for our posterity. And depending on our righteousness, the covenants can last generations. They can carry through the generations depending upon our righteousness and the righteousness of our posterity. Because each generation makes the covenants. And it's because of the atonement that each generation has the opportunity to do so. And, and covenants, unfortunately, can be broken in various generations, depending on the righteousness of that generation. So it's up to us to teach our posterity of the importance of righteousness and how, and how it's always good that we can do better if we want to, and how that by the atonement we can do better. And if you break covenants, Knowing full well what you're doing, it's better that you didn't make them. So make them with a full heart and a willing mind, knowing that you don't ever want to break them. And children will have the opportunity to make covenants at eight years old, and that is when they become accountable for themselves. I mean, yes, parents are still accountable for teaching them, no doubt about that. Parents and teachers of religion and worldly things, like school and things like that, they're responsible. But children learn about right and wrong when they're in primary and different things before they're eight. And when they're eight years old, they get to be able to put their knowledge of right and wrong into practice because before that, children are still coming to terms with themselves. But you know what? Children are a great example unto us. They have kindness. They have every Christ-like quality that we could ever want to perfect. Yes, they have their bad days, but they're quick to repent. They're quick to want to make people happy, and they're quick to want to keep... They're quick to keep people from getting sad, because they don't like it when people get sad, and that's how close to Christ they are. And those, those who die before eight years old are just automatically catapulted into the celestial kingdom, right into Heavenly Father's arms. And no, nobody is forgotten. I mean, and then parents, if they're worthy, or peop worthy people can enter the temple and have that child sealed to their family for time and all eternity. See, nobody is forgotten who doesn't want to be. That's what makes the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints so great. 
because it doesn't just end with death. The covenants people make, they last for eternity and they give everyone every shot they can at getting back into Heavenly Father's arms. I mean, we shouldn't really give up on anyone. Anyone can go back into Heavenly Father's arms if they want to. Anyone who has a body. I mean, the world is very harsh, and sometimes it may be too hard for some people in the world to make those covenants because they're burdened and they don't feel like they can be helped. So they dig themselves deeper and deeper and deeper until only Christ himself can pull them out. Even if it's in the next life, because the atonement works in the next life. Hence why the covenants are so important. They not only impact this life, they impact the next life as well. So keep them sacred. Know that we are that we will be held accountable. So our agency really is for both lives. We use our agency in this life and we reap the rewards of our agency in the next life. Just remember to keep covenants sacred. As Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ see us all as sacred. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.